Hey, this is John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're doing a review demo of a very cool pedal, the Delay Llama Supreme by Jam FX. Delay Llama, pretty clever little wordplay there. Let me tell you all about it. This is a very cool pedal, very cool pedal company. They had an earlier version of the Delay Llama and it, uh, it's been upgraded since then, upgraded with features like Tap Tempo, and then this whole effect system over here, which we'll get into after I tell you about how we're recording it. Uh, I've got my PRS just plugged directly into the Delay Llama, which is being powered by Pedal Powers 2, uh, running out of it into a Fender Supersonic amp in the clean channel, uh, but we'll be going to the dirty channel as well. Um, they're both flat-ish. This should be a little up there. I got a little more trouble on there than I wanted but there's a quick adjustment on the fly. So flat-ish. Mic it with a Royer R121, and that's going into an Apache Quartet and then Pro Tool. So basically, plugging guitar into the pedal, pedal and amp, blowing and going. So let me tell you about the basic details. True bypass, love that. So if it's off and you're unplugged, it's still going loud and proud. So pretty cool. Um, over here, you have an effects se uh, section. We're not going to get into that right now, but I'll tell you about it later. It's very cool. Cool update. Um, over here, tap tempo, which I love. Love having tap tempo. And over here, more importantly, you've got this little toggle that gives you from, uh, from eighths to quarters to dotted. So let's get into this dotted a little bit, which is my favorite delay setting. I'm going to bring the repeats way down. We're going to pop in that. Oh. Another bit I should tell you, there's an expression pedal setting on the side, which I was using earlier, um, which controls either the time or the amount. I had it on the amount setting on the way in, but we're going to unplug that for now so I can just show you what it does without it. So as I was saying, love dotted. So here's a cool little Albert Lee trick. Turn the repeat way down, keep the level up time wherever, and then slap out the tempo you want, bump, 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 and you've got instantly the Hot Rod Lincoln thing. Right? Isn't that cool? Play one note, it gives you one back. So that's kind of what I zoom on the way in too. So you can sound like Les Paul, uh, leave Les Paul. Very cool, great setting. Um, and you don't have to have it so extreme, so you put it in a more, this is kind of where I tend to leave mine on the dotted thing, and then you're just. <laughs> just a funky, cool sounding pedal, and I love that feature. So leave it in the same uh, same settings. Flip it over to quarters. You got it like this. It's a really kind of warm sounding delay, probably because of all that analog business they have in it, which I should bring up. They went to great trouble with this analog uh, um, innards. Um, they use this famous, what is it? It is the uh, Panasonic, a faithful reproduction of the Panasonic MN3205, um, which is apparently an analog chip that geeky people covet. Uh, but Whatever they're doing, it sounds very natural and analog to me. Kind of like, almost like the old, uh, 
like the old Ibanez um, pink delay. Kind of sounds like that. Really warm, really kind of gets that slop to it, which I dig. So let's just spin some more knobs and you can see more of what it does. Um, obviously, the level is the level. Going to give you just more or less. Make it a little more subtle if you want. Up there to all the way up to obnoxious. Repeats can get pretty intense. And as you turn up, As you turn up the tone, your, the repeats become more intense. The tone affects just the repeats, but as you increase them, if you turn up your repeats and your tone, it all becomes a little bit more extreme, which is great. And I love the weird kind of arbitrary noise bits you get on an analog rig like this. I mean, how uh, late 60s sci-fi is that, right? Very cool. So those are the basics on that. Bring it up here just so you can hear it. Here's our eights. If you turn your, uh, turn your time way up, put it on eights, turn it way up, and give you many, many repeats. Now our amp is completely dry right now. But if you turn your repeats way up and your time way up, uh, you'll get kind of a almost a verby kind of thing. Pretty sound, right? I mean, here it is just dry, pretty. Fine. I mean, it's fine, but but this gives it a lot of just I don't know ambiance. Anyway, very cool. Um, now let's get into this section over here. So you've got basically this. This effect is giving you a bit of a warble or you know tape kind of kind of weirdness. Kind of sometimes it's like chorusing. If we have it, turn the speed down, depth down, repeats down, then you can almost sound, hear kind of a chorusing. kind of a Leslie effect, you know. you can make it more trippy as you go. Um, they call this the waterfall, uh, waterfall chorus circuit, kind of a warped, you know, delay sound. And then this Q control um, will vary the range of the filter. So let's just try that for shiz and giz. Here it is down. Here it is up. Here it's a taste test. Ah. 
I like that when you keep it going like that, those weird repeats, it sounds like there's a colony of dwarfs that are living in there and dancing merrily about. Anyway, that's what I imagine. Uh, pretty cool. Let me keep spinning some knobs and you can hear what it does. So let me show you uh, how you can use your effects pedal your, uh, uh, to control it. I've just got this Dunlop that I'm plugged in. I've got it plugged in to the top now, which controls the time. So long, toe up real fast, which is pretty cool. So say you want like that kind of That's like psycho Billy, right? Uh, you can get that great, you know, slap backy, verby surf. And then listen to that. It's and I like the way through controlling that, you can kind of with your foot find the frequency that it's going to, you know, it's got that, you know, you, you, when that big warble, that with your foot, you can tune it in and match your notes. So it's really cool. So that's the expression pedal in the time setting, but now I'm putting it in the amount, the level setting. So when my heel is back, basically dry, put my heel down and you've got all kinds of delay. Just a great expressive thing to have. It's just very cool to have that option right there at your toes to add and subtract as you go. So those are the basics on the Delay Llama Supreme. To read the full written view, go to premierguitar.com. While you're online, make sure you like us on Facebook. Subscribe to our ever-growing YouTube channel. Hey, check out my little section of videos called What Bollinger Plays. You can learn this crazy crap I'm playing. It's remarkably easy. This is John Bollinger. Till next time. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.